Hello and welcome to Animal Based In Your Face. Today we're going to try Dr. Ken Berry's way of cooking, he calls bacon chips, in your kitchen, on your stove top, in a deep pot. First, we're gonna take one package of bacon. Now this is thick rice bacon from Sam's Club. He suggests cutting it into fourths. I have already tested it into thirds and it works great, but today I want to test it by cutting it in half. Let me show you. This is thin bacon I've already tested that was cut into thirds and it cooked in 10 minutes, y'all, 10 minutes. This is Wright's thick cut bacon that I cut into fourths that cooked in a little over 10 minutes. As you can see, it's delicious and crispy. So today I'm going to try to cut it into just half so we can get bigger slices and see how it does. Okay, I took two pounds of rice bacon and I cut it in half and I put it one piece at a time so it's not all stuck together in my nonstick pot. It's a deep pot. Next, we're gonna turn it on high, and then we're gonna put a lid on it. It's gonna make its own grease, so you do not need to put anything in your pot to get it started. And also, this is perfect because it does not pop and splatter as it's cooking, and it does not get your stove dirty. Okay. It's been seven minutes. At three minutes, I took the lid off and I turned it and it was already starting to brown. Now remember, this is thick bacon and it's only cut in half, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. But you can see it holds all the heat and steam in and there's no popping, but it's cooking in its own fat. It's been 17 minutes. I've been stirring it every three minutes and our bacon is ready. Look how brown and crispy it is. So it takes about 17 minutes to cook two pounds of Wright's thick bacon cut in half. I took out my Wright's thick cut bacon that I cut in half and there is the yummy bacon grease and bacon bits that we can use for anything that we cook to get our fat in when we're animal based. All right, here is the three different trays of bacon that I cooked with Dr. Ken Berry's method. The first tray is um, Wright's bacon. It is two pounds and I cut it into fourths. It's like bacon chips. It took just a hair over 10 minutes. This is a Sam's Club brand of thin bacon that I cut into thirds and it cooked in exactly 10 minutes. And this is the batch that I just cooked for the first time I've ever tried, taking the bacon and cutting it in half so the pieces aren't quite as small. So this batch right here with Wright's thick cut bacon took 17 minutes to get it this crispy. Now we love crispy bacon. You could pull it even sooner if you wanted to, but I would say that this method works fantastic if you don't want to, you know, cook it in your oven, your air fryer, or on your stove. Another great thing is my stove is clean, y'all. There is no grease anywhere on my stove, on my clothes. I didn't get burnt, burned, I didn't get popped. And next I'm gonna take this yummy bacon grease and I'm gonna dump it with the other two batches of bacon I made in my stainless steel bacon grease container. And we will use this for meals this week. I hope you enjoyed my test of Dr. Ken Berry's way of cooking what he calls bacon chips. For more tips, tricks, and great recipes, be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel, Animal Based, in your face. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.